DHA is one of the foundational building blocks of your brain, your skin, and your retina in the back of your eye. This is a very important nutrient that many of us cannot make from foods. We have to actually eat DHA. Now, if you search around on the internet, you'll find lots of websites that claim that this, that, or the other is a very good source of DHA. But when you dig into this a little deeper, you find out that some of the recommended sources of DHA actually don't contain any DHA whatsoever. I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician. Let's talk about DHA a little bit, and I'm gonna give you the list of the top DHA containing foods that actually contain real DHA at the end of this video. There's more and more emerging research every day that having plenty of DHA in your diet is vital for optimal heart health, for optimal brain function, for the optimal function uh, of your eye and your inner ear when it comes to vision and to hearing, and that a good source of DHA is absolutely critical for pregnant women who are building a new human inside their uterus and for young infant, toddler, and adolescent humans who are trying to grow this big human brain of ours. Now you'll see articles on the internet very commonly that say that chia seeds, uh, flax seeds, natto, uh, walnuts are excellent sources of DHA. This is completely false. Chia seeds contain no DHA whatsoever. Flax seeds contain no DHA whatsoever. Natto contains no DHA whatsoever. Walnuts. Now, walnuts contain no DHA whatsoever. You can only get DHA from your diet in the form of animal-based foods. Now, I'm going to tell you the top seven foods that contain the most DHA. And if you are in the following categories, if you are a pregnant mother, if you are a lactating mother, if you are a young child, if you are a teenage human, or if you are an adult human, then you need a good source of DHA in your diet several times a week. Now let's count down the top seven DHA rich foods in reverse order, like any good countdown should go. Number seven is egg yolks with 29 milligrams of DHA per yolk. Now a pastured chicken allowed to eat grass, bugs, and worms is gonna have a higher level of DHA in that yolk. Number six is cod liver with 421 milligrams of DHA per can. Now let me take a little side note right here since I said cod liver, because 99% of you guys just said, oh, cod liver oil. So taking a oil that's rich in DHA in either a capsule or as a tablespoon, any oil that's transported like that after being processed out of whatever food it came from in the factory is gonna be to at least some degree rancid and oxidized. And so I do not recommend you get DHA from either a liquid that comes in a bottle, an oil, or from an oil containing capsule that has been heat sealed in a factory. These oils do contain some uh, DHA, but they're gonna be to some degree rancid and oxidized, and you just don't want that going into your body. Number five on the list is oysters with 620 milligrams per can. Also, uh, other sources are any shellfish whatsoever, mussels, uh, clams, they're all great sources of DHA. Number four on the list is sardines with 758 milligrams per can. Excellent source of DHA. If you don't yet like them, learn to like them. Number three on the list is anchovies with 774 milligrams per three ounce serving. It doesn't take many to get a lot of DHA. Number two on the list is tuna. A, can, a six ounce can of tuna contains 1,940 milligrams of real DHA. And this includes the cheapest tuna that you can buy at the supermarket. And then coming in number one, our winner is canned salmon. You do not have to buy the expensive salmon to get 2,477 milligrams 
per six ounce serving. Even the cheap salmon is an excellent source of DHA. So do not try to get DHA from plants because there just ain't none in there, okay? Plants contain an omega-3 fatty acid called ALA. And if you want to look that up and see what it actually stands for, you can do that. Some of us can convert ALA to DHA fairly well. Many of us cannot convert ALA to DHA very well at all. And so you could be eating a ton of ALA rich plant foods and still be very deficient in DHA. If you want DHA, you have to get it from animal-based foods. Now I put a link in the show notes down below to the list of the top 200 DHA rich foods. Focus on the foods, not the oils, because the oils are gonna be oxidized and rancid to some degree. I hope this video really helps you on your journey towards better health. This is Dr. Barry, I'll see you next time.